Uganda People's Defense Forces has halted airstrikes in the operation against the Allied Democratic Forces and now locating the scampering rebels on ground to engage other targets. After the 30th, uh, we conducted one other more airstrike uh, hitting our targets and we're also continuing now using the ground forces to identify other targets uh, or opportunity which can be engaged. The Ugandan Congolese army are guided by the continuing intelligence-led operations to ensure safety of the troops. Uh, but uh, we, are, uh, we, we, we went in very well prepared for this kind of terrain and we did all our conversations about it and we do not expect to, for it to bog us down that much. Allied Democratic Forces known defensive positions, training camps have been reportedly cleared by forces of Congo and UPDF troops. So they can run, yes, but they will not hide. Because for us, we shall be there to make sure that we neutralize that threat completely and eliminate them. Yeah, the information we are getting on the ground and from our friends, the FADAC, is that the, the enemy was seriously punished by own air force and artillery. And uh, they have a lot of casualties so far. The UPDF sector spokesperson, Lieutenant Kanorona Dikakurungu, tells us that their work is not interfering with the UN peacekeeping operations in the Democratic Republic of Congo. We have to coordinate, so to make sure that in the areas where we're operating, for instance, they should not be there. If we have uh, our, our sectors as, as aligned, we say UPD forces will operate from this sector, FRDs forces will operate from this sector, and of course every commander commands their troops. We cannot now go and start commanding police forces, neither can FRDs come and command our UPD forces. It's just about command and control and coordination. Security in Kasese, Bundibujo, Kabarole and other border areas of Uganda with Congo has been strengthened. In fact, we even urge the local leaders to help the, the, the other security leaders mobilize these people not to be worried. We are there. Our operations in Congo, we have taken care of the borders to make sure that they do not come to affect our peaceful populations here. It is now three days since the Uganda People's Defense Forces went aggressive to uproot the ADF terror cells in the Democratic Republic of Congo. I'm the overall operation commander of this operation called Operation Suja in Eastern DRC. This operation started um, with engagements between the two countries at strategic level and uh, when it came to tactical, to the tactical level, we had a lot of engagements with FADAC forces, with FADAC commanders on the way forward on how we are going to effect our operations in Eastern DRC on the ground. And uh, two days back, uh, the operation was launched. Operation Shuja was launched um, by employing Air Force and artillery on the identified enemy uh, defense locations in Camp Yayua. Tondoli, Bell 1 and Bell 2. Yes, as you are saying, currently we are at Mukakati where we have established our forward operating base. Um, uh, this location is 18 kilometers from the border with Uganda in Usunga. Um, this is where the ground forces will launch the offensive against and uh, from here to, to Semulichi Bridge is about 90 kilometers. This is where we are. Yeah, the information we are getting on the ground and from our friends, the FADAC, is that the, the enemy was seriously punished by own air force and artillery, and uh, they have a lot of casualties so far. The duration of this operation will be determined by the military strategic end state. The military end state is of course to defeat the rebels and to defeat their will to fight. The strategic end state is to create that conducive situation uh, to allow um, trade, smooth trade between the two countries and prosperity between the peoples of the two countries, the DRC and Uganda. We promise the people of Uganda and Eastern DRC and the people of DRC that uh, we are ready jointly with the FADAC, we are ready to defeat the terrorists and we are ready to bring peace back to Eastern DRC.
afya barabara namna gani we are safe